Hi, I'm Jonathan Eig, the author of Get Capone, the book that will change the way you think about Al Capone forever. I'm standing in front of 2300 South Wabash Avenue in Chicago, the site of a former saloon owned by Jaime Jacobs. One night in May of 1924, a man named Joe Howard walked in. Howard was a bootlegger, and he just robbed a truckload of whiskey. On the night of the robbery, Howard had gone out drinking. He got picked a fight with a little guy and bragged later to his friends about how he'd made the little Jew wine. Unfortunately for Howard, the little Jew happened to be Jack Guzik, the top accountant for Al Capone and Johnny Torrio. It was six o'clock when Al Capone walked into the bar. He was accompanied by a much bigger man. Joe Howard didn't see him coming. He was sitting at the bar trying to pick out a cigar. The bartender greeted Capone. Hello, Al, he said. Capone didn't say a word. The big man grabbed Howard by the lapels and held him tight. Capone pulled a gun from under his left armpit, put the muzzle to Howard's cheek and pulled the trigger five times. One, two, three, four, five. Blood, bone, and tooth particle exploded across the bar. But Howard remained on the stool, what was left of him anyway. Capone's accomplice was still holding Howard by the lapels. Finally, the big man released his grip. Joe Howard fell into a pile of his own remains. Capone and his friend left the bar. Capone was never charged with the crime. Eyewitnesses, including the bartender who had called him Al, they said they never got a good look at the killer. It turns out they were a lot smarter than Joe Howard.